What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, you and I are gonna create a fun and simple drawing of Spider-Punk from the Spider-Verse. For today's lesson, all we need is a sheet of paper and something to draw with. I'm gonna be drawing with this black Sharpie fine point marker and you can use whatever you'd like to color this in. Now the easiest place to start a drawing is in the center of the page with the outside edge of the eyes. Now these eyes are hexagonal shape. So we're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start on the left side. We draw a curve that goes out. I'm just gonna bend that up towards the top of the eye. Let's line at the bottom over on the right side. We're gonna curve this out in the opposite direction and go up towards the same height. Let's angle the top of the eyes coming down and then out toward the side. Let's go back to the bottom, then the bottom of the eye going out and then down. Let's draw a slight angle going across the bottom of the eye towards the side of the head. And then we draw two more edges along the outside of the eye. Let's start from the top left, then it's out and then down about halfway. And we'll bring that down and then bend that in towards the bottom of the eye. Let's trace each of the eyes along the inside. So we start from the outside, going up toward the top. Now we just want to leave an even space gap all the way around. Now we're gonna go back and just fill those trims in black. Now with the eyes in place, let's draw the lower half of the head. From this point on the left, we're gonna step out, we curve the head coming down, and pull that in towards the chin, round this out, and just pull that up towards the right side, towards the same height. Now from here, it's gonna work our way up towards the top, leaving a gap in the center for the spikes. Let's start back on the left, then it's out, go up and in. Just gonna pull that up to right about there. Let's line this up over on the right side, go across the right side of the head, come down and then bend that in. Now in between these two lines, we're gonna start with another point. I'm just gonna draw a spike along the front. Angle this down and out toward the left and right side. Now I'm gonna close out the bottom with a half circle, coming down toward the bottom and then back up. Let's go back up to the top, draw two straight angle lines going up toward the top spike in the middle, and then come down. Now we draw that same half circle going in behind that front spike. Now we're gonna add some dripping ink coming down from the eyes. Let's start over on the left, bend this in and down. Round at the bottom, go up. Let's add another drip. Coming down a little bit lower, go up towards the top, and then in toward the inside point. Let's add some over on the right side. Coming down, and then pull that back up. Let's go underneath the eye, we're just gonna pull that all the way down toward the bottom of the head, go up and out. Now we wanna fill each of those drips in black. Let's add the webbing inside the mask. Let's start from the bottom of that spike, draw a straight line coming all the way down in between the eyes to right about there. Now from here, it's gonna bend this up across the top of the left eye and then bend that out towards the top of the head. Let's go back to the center and do the same thing over on the right. From that center point, draw two straight angle lines coming down and out towards the bottom of the head. Go back to the center, come down and out in behind the eyes, and then go up and out towards the top. Now you wanna add some more lines along the side of the head aiming towards that center point. So let's start on the left, come down and in behind the eye, 
from the side of the head and then from the bottom of the jaw going up and in. And add those webs going across. Let's start from the bottom in the middle, go up and down, add one more along the bottom. And I just want to close off the sides, going up and out. Let's add some webs going across the top. Start with the middle, two curves, bend this down and out. Let's go up towards the side of the spike, add another web, coming down on top of the eyes. I want to add one more across the top and let's work our way down the side of the head. Now that we've finished the head, let's move down and draw the inside of the vest. We want to leave a gap in the center. Let's go to the left side, draw a straight angled line coming down and out toward the left and right side. Then we're going to place the collar along the side. On the left, angle is up and out both sides, go up and in underneath the head. Let's draw on the bottom of the collar. Draw a straight line going all the way out. I'm just going to bend this in and then down toward that inside line. From the bottom, angle this out and bend that up toward the hips. Now I want to draw a straight angle line going in behind the collar and it will continue in between. Let's add a strap going across the body. Start from the top right, bend this down and then out. Step down, draw that same curve. Let's add a collar underneath the head, bending this down and then up. Now inside that collar, we'll draw two small circles for the studs. And we'll fill the collar in black going around those circles. Let's add a belt from these two points, come down and up, step up, draw that again. And I'm just going to line the inside with these small circles for these studs. We'll fill the inside of the belt in black. Let's tear up the bottom of the shirt, starting underneath the strap, go up and down. And we'll repeat this all the way across with these random curves. Now I want to continue working down towards the legs. In the center, let's step down, draw a straight line going across. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, angle is down with a straight line, going out and then down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, angle is down and out towards the right heel. Now I want to round out the bottom of the feet. Now come down. Go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. We're going to go up. Let's bend this down, aiming towards the heel, leaving a gap on the inside. From the top of the foot, draw a straight angle line going up and in to right about there. And then we'll curve the top of the boot, going up and then down towards the inside of the leg. From the outside corner of the boot, we'll step in, draw another straight angle line going up and in underneath the vest. Is that a thick sole on the bottom of the feet? Take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Now let's add some straps across the top. Drawing some curves, we're going to add this three times. And do the same thing on the right. From the center of the boot cuff, draw a straight angle line coming down in behind those straps. Continue down towards the top of the foot. Now I'm going to add one more belt coming down in an angle across the left side. Let's start from the left hip, bend this across, and then up. Step up and draw that again. Now let's go back up to the top and draw on the arms. We're going to start with the shirt sleeve. From the top of the body, let's step out. Draw a straight line going out towards the side. I just want to tear up the edge with these curves coming back in towards the side of the body. I 
And then from here, we're gonna draw the inside edge of the arms. Let's start from the side of the body, bend the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist on both sides. From the wrist, let's draw a half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now let's add three fingers on either side. Start from the bottom of the thumb, come down and up around that bracket. Step down, go out and up. And then the third finger, I'm just gonna blend this into the arm and bend that up underneath the sleeve. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's add some wraps across the wrist. Start from the top of the thumb, then it's up and out. And I wanna add a few more curves along the top, so I'll do this three more times. Let's add an armband on the left side. Start with another curve along the bottom, step up and draw that again. Now inside, we're gonna add three circles. One on the top and bottom, and then one in the middle, and I'm gonna add one going out from the side with a spike. Let's fill the inside of that armband in black going around those circles. Now we're gonna place the guitar in behind the body. So let's start underneath the right arm. I'm just gonna draw the bottom of the guitar coming around and then in towards the hip. And then we're gonna extend the guitar neck going out across the top of the left shoulder. Start with a straight angle line going up and out. Step down and draw that again. Let's close off the top with a straight line. From the top corner, I'm gonna bend this up and out. Let's taper this up and in towards the top. Close off the top with a curve. Now we're gonna draw three half circles along the bottom and top. Just leaving a small gap in between. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Spider-Punk from the Spider-Verse. I really enjoyed our drawing session together. And if you did too, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you like this tutorial, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.